The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. What's up, brownies? They demonetize your videos for saying certain words, so you're going to have to read. But it's these types of ideologies from these groups that start these types of men on the rampages that they go on, like the guy that went around punching people in New York. You do not have to accept her rejection. I'm a professional dating coach, and I teach guys how to understand the female mind. Now, if you're one of the people that haven't applied anything in my course or my videos or anything like that, this video is not for you. This is an advanced technique. This is for the people that have the course, have my videos, fucking are applying it, seeing results. And eventually I'm going to put this in the course. I just don't have the time right now. So I'm releasing it now. You don't have to accept her rejection. Now, here's an example. I was talking to a girl and she said, oh, you know, I'm not really interested. And I, instead of just going, okay, and then just turning the right way, I did this. Why would you not be interested in me? I'm the best. Absolutely the best. And she's like, oh, how? I'm like, well, you'd have to come over in my house to find out. And you'd also have to be okay with kink. And you'd also have to be okay with my mastery of the ropes and the fact I have multiple women. And actually, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe you, uh, you wouldn't be the best for me. And now I did turn it around at the end, but I could have left that part out and still got her to start bantering back and forth. And she did. She started going back and forth with me and I started building attraction in that because now I had sidestepped her fucking rejection. Granted, keep in mind, I didn't force it. I didn't say, no, 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 you're gonna. I just played into her little fucking game. I knew she was playing with me a little bit or just kind of disengaging. And I gave her a little bit of fun. You wanna know what I did with her later? Yeah, long story short, this guy is a liar and a loser. He's walking around lying about his age. He ran as a Republican at first, but of course, they uh, didn't want him on the ticket there. He got disqualified. And so he's running under this made up party, running around harassing random people on the streets about being Democrats and about, about how the Democrats and the blacks or the whatever are ruining everything. You have to avoid these people at all costs for your safety because nobody is going to protect you. And another thing is you'll notice that all of your relationship gurus and all of that, they always tell black women, you need to lower your standards. Don't be a gold digger help a brother when he's down let me tell you something men who are miserable and don't have what they want to have in life and they aren't who they want to be yet they will make you miserable make no mistake about it they are a danger to themselves and to others i want you to listen to some of the lyrics of one of his songs then i'm gonna show you some other clips and i want you going forward to pay attention to who's really for you versus against you regardless of what the culture programs you to believe I'm pissed off, and I don't got no rims in my car. I'm pissed off, and I don't got no beds in the Porsche. I'm pissed off, and I don't got no bras in my arm. I'm pissed off, let me, let me, let me shop in my clothes up on your wall. Let me, let me, let me shop in my clothes up on your wall. Random women in New York City are being punched in the face while out walking. I think we need to take a pre-K pause because some of y'all's reaction to this is not cute. I've seen more than a dozen videos of women saying that they were walking in New York City in the last few days and some random dude walked up to them and punched them in the head. And a lot of people responded with, well, did you call the police? Why isn't there a video of him? Were there no other witnesses around? Are you sure you're not lying for attention? It's 2024. You know, I thought we were believing women and we're not victim shaming people. These women are recording videos and posting them hours, sometimes minutes after being assaulted to warn other women and they're being met with criticism and prove it? Ew. And here's the thing, women have already worried about their safety when they've been outside, when they've gone on runs. Now, that is even heightened. That, that feeling of danger is heightened by some asshole going around and punching women. And you guys are joking about it? Now, more recently, yes, there's been videos, there's been witnesses. A lot of them have gone to the hospital and have like concussions, black eyes. So now people are backtracking saying, oh, we should believe them. Baby, we should have before. I don't know about y'all, but if a woman tells me, hey, I was assaulted, I'ma believe her. I don't need Tom, Dick, and Harry to tell me, Oh yeah, we witnessed it for me to say, okay, it's the truth. Y'all, we have got to treat women better. I want you to look at how fake pro-black he is, but how he actually talks to black people. Now that's men, women, and children. He's very disrespectful. But in particular, I want you to watch all of these videos of these black women and notice how nobody ever comes to their rescue. This is why you need to stop caping for other people, put your own mask on first, and worry about yourself. This dude is clearly unhinged. Thank <laughs> you.
How y'all doing? It's me, Skabuki. I'm running for governor, Mark. Mm -hmm. I'm Marcus Garvey, great, great grandson, Mark. I'm battling these Democrats, Mark. They selling out our projects, Mark. All our projects is being sold by the Democrats in New York State, Mark. <laughs> governor Skabuki will correct this, Mark. I need y'all vote, vote me in as the next governor, Mark. Look at this man touching me. Look at look at him touching me, y'all. Look at his hands. Look where his hands at. Moving, sir. Don't push me. I'm telling you, don't push me. I'm telling you, don't push me, boy. Look where his hands at, cameras. Look where his hands at. No, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Look what he's doing. We ain't gonna push you. Come on. I know he ain't gonna push me. Come on, bro. Come on. You push me, I'm falling. No, 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 bro. Come on, man. Push me, I'm falling, bro. Camera right there. Okay. The only way I'm falling if you push me. My brother. The only way I'm falling if you push me. I am battling systemic racism. This black boy think he gonna put his hands on me. This black boy think he gonna put his hands on me. Walk with me, walk with me, bro. Basically. 45 minutes, bro. 45 minutes to send the black guy all the way down there. And they right here, dogs. They right here, dogs. I'm running for governor, dogs. I'm not putting up with this boy. They right here, son. You sent me all the way down there. 45 blocks, boy. And they not there, son. Now come with y'all race bullshit, man. Bro, I don't give a fuck what you is, man. You not black, bro. You not black. Now you gonna say you black? Now you gonna say you black, right? You the, the white man do, got all this problem with you, right? You say you just like us, right? Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. I'm running for governor, bitch. I don't know. Look at it. Look at her here. Look at it. This is the only type of white black people that the white people them like to hang with. It's black girls that don't do their hair. That's okay. the only way that these All white right. people speak to them. That's the only way they deal with them okay. when they don't do their hair. I'm running for governor. I'm Skaboki. Marcus Garvey, great, great grandson. I'm not putting up with this. These black girls going to do their hair under governor Skaboki. Officer, I'm dumb and black. I'm running for governor. I'm Skaboki. But I'm curious to know, they got their own security here, right? Why Eric Adams have y'all securing them too with this vaccine stuff? Why, why he does these things? Hello, what's going on here? Hey, what y'all talking about? Y'all bunch of Democrats, man. These guys are Democrats, man. They're white supporters, black guys that the white man sent to hurt our community. I'm running for governor. I'm Marcus Garvey, great, great grandson, man. All these guys is Democrats. They're the enemies of the black and poor community. These black cops that despise our, my brothers and sisters, man, that violate us, man. As governor, I'm gonna wipe the state clean of y'all, man. Look me in my eyes, man. I will wipe the state clean of all of y'all. Yeah, trust me. Oh. I'm Governor Skabuki. I'm running for governor. They're not cops. Yeah. They're oh, they're right. actors. Oh, they're not. They, they, they actors. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. They, they, they I'm sorry. They're they're not not actors. I'm sorry, man. I'm running for governor. What's going on? It's me, Skabuki, Marcus Garvey's grandson. You all right? You yeah, need me to call the cops? No, 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 no. no. He's okay. His stomach just hurts a lot. The hell you ate, brother? Oh man, was it the school lunch, man? No. You know the Democrats them cooking up that food, man. Oh, it's all okay. Right. He didn't eat anything. It's all right. My brother, I'll tell you something. Don't ever make no girl see you, the black man down. The black man always gotta stand up, brother. Okay. Yo, get a haircut, man. You fucked up, dogs. She ain't my girl, bro. And all I'm trying to do is get some peace from these black girls, man. Yo, dog. This man, don't hit my jack, bro. Son, all I talk to is pretty girls, bro. Pretty black girls, bro. Do not inbox me, bro. If you not a pretty black girl, bro. Like, I don't know what else. Son, you can't be... You gotta be in shape, bro. You gotta be, man. I'm Marcus Garvey grandson, man. I'm not putting up with this, man. I don't want to, man. That is like females, boy. But in TD Bank with this clerk right here, she's saying that she's not pulling no racist stuff on me because she's black. That's what she's alleging. No, you said that I, my ID is not good enough. That Again, again, you said that my ID is not, and you and you getting racist on me. 
You're getting racist all you want on me. Yes, you are getting racist on me and you're pledging that you are black and that you are not you getting get racist on me. It's for a different date complaint number. Am I able to get my complaint number or not? You got your information. Yeah. That's it. I asked for a different date. What date was this? What date was this for? What date you asked for? What date was this? You got what you I'm got. not talking to you, shitty pants. <laughs> shitty pants. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Skabuki Marcus Garvey Grandson. I'm not talking to you. You got to do better. Okay. You got to no, What date? Hey. Hey. I'm Marcus Garvey Grandson. Skabuki. I'm Marcus Garvey Grandson. I'm Skabuki. I'm like, curious. I don't know. I don't know him. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> I was curious. Why y'all dressed like that? Why? It just look oh, hoish like, sluttish like. But if it makes sense to the black woman, good luck. I hope y'all get married. Okay? Later. First of all, that's me in the video right there. Let me tell you how this happened. I remember it a couple months ago. I actually just came back from the gym and I had a jacket on. And this guy approaches me, he gives me his card, and I politely decline. And um, he walks back and he comes back again. And I had no idea he was videoing, to be honest. And then he goes on to disrespect me from top to bottom. And as y'all can see, I did not retaliate because I was really much taken aback in two. Um, it was, I don't know, the whole thing was just really much out of, the, out of the blue. I was actually, I really felt harassed. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Because it was so weird. Like, you come for me and you come for the clothes I'm wearing to the gym. I actually had a jacket on. I find that very weird. So I am out here appealing to y'all because he posted and he thought it was very funny. I'm out here appealing to y'all, all women, all women in fitness, all men and black men out there. Um, that y'all do see what this guy is doing. There's something else besides that. Because you're not going to get a good black guy like that. It make you look like a, a bull. I'm Skabuki, Marcus Garvey, great, great grandson. Now watch him phoning all over and praising basic looking non-black women. And then look at how many of them could have been victims. Sometimes it's for the best that all of them don't like you. These guys, ma, they be so desperate for love, ma. And I'm like, yo, dogs, what you smoking on, dogs? Yo, boy, them illegal aliens, ma, they be coming to America, ma, uh, uh, under the Democrat Party, ma. And selling oranges, ma, and candy bars, ma. And they get more respect than how a black female treat black brothers in America, ma. Black brothers, I don't know what that black woman got under her dress for you, ma. But dogs, you a hawk can eat my ass. I'm, I'm, I'm taking me a illegal alien, ma. Hey, it's a million dollar smile. <laughs> I'm Skabuki. <laughs> hey, princess, princess, girl. Hey, where you got all that swag from? Mm -hmm. I'm Skabuki, Marcus Garvey grandson. I was curious to know where you got all that swag from. I know that's right. Yeah. Hey, keep it going. I know that's right. Oh, quick question, ma'am. Quick question. Are oh, you a Democrat voter, ma'am? Okay, you know, okay. What's up? Hold up, don't go nowhere, hold on. What y'all doing? What's, what's going on? Don't act light skin, damn. Where the leader at? What's up, brother? Hold up, I told you, wait up. I'm Skabuki, Marcus Garvey Grandson. I seen what y'all was doing over here. Y'all looking nice. A nice dress, I see you doing your thing, that's what. Huh? What's on your lip? Your, your lip. You don't see lip it? Lip What are you doing? Oh, I'm just going Marcus Garvey Grandson. I'm sorry. I'm All just, right. I'm just asking a question. <laughs> All right. Put the phone down so you can pay attention and not walk into nobody. Slow down. Slow down, what you in the rush for? What you 
what you in a rush for. Pay attention so you won't walk into people. Can you stop? Just slow down. I'm going You somewhere. almost walked through me. Yeah. All right. Put the phone down so you can pay attention and not walk into nobody. And as we know, he eventually got to the point to where these are just some of his victims that's been confirmed. But the point is, men who are already mentally unstable and unhinged, if you're not their preference, sometimes your complexion is your protection because look at how they treat their preferences. Ultimately, they get the same type of treatment that you do. But I do want to take the time to shout out one particular content creator who apparently was on to this dude and how crazy he was years ago before this started happening. And now social media is shadow banning him. Support him, support me, follow us both. Y'all take care of yourselves. Marcus Garvey's grandson? Are you kidding me? There are so many things in this world that are far-fetched. Like, it literally sounds like Aesop's fables. But you're going around New York City and you're harassing people for content. That's number one. Number two, how is it that you're always in the right place at the right time when people are getting harassed? And three, it seems like you got mental health issues. You know, you following this young lady like, you really need some help. Stop using the name Garvey for clout. It's disrespectful, especially if you're not related. Somebody needs to go to Ancestry.com because things are not clicking. Certain names, especially those that were activists, civil rights, and for certain things, their names hold weight. So if you are a descendant or ancestor of that person, you should have decorum. Falling away, so you